Grant Wood, an influential American painter, is best known for his distinctive style and iconic portrayals of rural American life. Born on February 13, 1891, in Iowa, Wood's art is closely associated with the American Regionalist movement, which sought to capture the essence of the nation's heartland and its people during a time of social and economic change. Wood's artistic journey began with his studies in the United States and Europe, where he was exposed to various artistic influences. However, it was his return to his native Midwest that deeply shaped his style and subject matter. His most famous painting, American Gothic, 1930, is a testament to this regional focus. This work depicts a stern-looking farmer and his daughter in front of a Gothic-style house, becoming an enduring symbol of American identity and the values associated with rural life. Wood's art often evoked a sense of nostalgia and idealization of rural America. His paintings, characterized by meticulous attention to detail, celebrated the simple beauty of everyday scenes. Works like Daughters of Revolution 1932 and Parson Weems Fable 1939 showcase his ability to blend realism with a touch of irony and symbolism, reflecting his commentary on societal values and historical narratives. While Wood's art was rooted in regionalism, his subjects often carried broader implications. He frequently explored themes of identity, tradition, and cultural heritage. Through his portrayals of everyday people, he highlighted their individuality and the collective experience of rural America during a time of great social change. Wood's style, often referred to as American Gothic Revival, combined elements of European Renaissance art with a distinctly American flavor. His meticulous craftsmanship, attention to detail, and incorporation of regional architectural elements set him apart as an artist who synthesized various influences to create a unique visual language. Beyond painting, Wood's influence extended to his role as a teacher and advocate for the arts. He played a significant role in fostering a sense of pride and appreciation for American art during a time when European influences were dominant. His contributions helped shape a distinctive American artistic identity. Grant Wood's legacy as an American regionalist and a chronicler of rural life is enduring. His ability to capture the essence of a changing nation while celebrating its traditions and values has left an indelible mark on American art. His work serves as a reminder of the power to, of art to connect with the human experience and to reflect the complexities of identity, community, and the passage of time. Jacob Lawrence, a prominent African-American artist, was born in Atlantic City, New Jersey in 1917. Renowned for his powerful narrative paintings, Lawrence played a significant role in shaping the art world and capturing the African-American experience in the United States. Growing up in Harlem during the vibrant cultural movement known as the Harlem Renaissance, Lawrence was exposed to the rich artistic and intellectual atmosphere of his time. His work was deeply influenced by the social and political climate of the era, as well as the stories and struggles of the African-American community. One of Lawrence's most renowned bodies of work is the Migration Series. Created in 1940 to 1941, this series of 60 paintings depicts the mass migration of African Americans from the rural south to the urban north during the early 20th century. Through bold colors, simplified forms, and striking compositions, Lawrence captured the human stories and collective experience of a generation seeking a better life. Lawrence's distinctive artistic style combined elements of realism, abstraction, and modernism he often used a limited color palette and strong geometric shapes to convey the essence of his subject or scene. His paintings possessed a dynamic energy and a sense of movement, reflecting the vitality and resilience of the people and communities he portrayed. Beyond his subject matter, Lawrence was deeply committed to social justice and used his art as a platform for activism. He believed in the power of art to raise awareness and bring about change. Throughout his career, he tackled issues such as racial inequality, poverty, and historical events, shedding light on important narratives that have been overlooked or marginalized. Lawrence's contributions to the art world extended beyond his own work. He was a dedicated educator, teaching at various institutions, and inspiring generations of artists. He emphasized the importance of artistic expression, creativity, and individuality, encouraging his students to find their unique voices. Over the course of his career, Lawrence received numerous accolades and honors, including the Guggenheim Fellowship and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. 
His work has been exhibited in major museums and galleries worldwide, cementing his place as one of the most influential African American artists of the 20th century. Jacob Lawrence's art continues to resonate and captivate audiences with its powerful storytelling, social commentary, and visual impact. His ability to depict the human experience and bring marginalized stories to the forefront has left an indelible mark on the art world. Lawrence's legacy as an artist and advocate for social justice is a testament to the enduring power of art to inspire, inform, and provoke change. Roy Lichtenstein, an influential American artist of the 20th century, is celebrated for his distinctive contributions to the pop art movement. Born in New York City on October 27, 1923, Lichtenstein's artistic journey encompassed various phases, from his early explorations of traditional art styles to his iconic adaptation of comic book aesthetics. His innovative approach to art, mocked by his bold imagery and a sharp critique of consumer culture, solidified his position as a pioneer of pop art. Lichtenstein's early life and education laid the groundwork for his artistic evolution. He studied at the Art Students League in New York and later pursued a Master of Fine Arts degree at Ohio State University. His early works reflected the influence of movements like Cubism and Expressionism, showcasing his technical skills and experimentation with different styles. However, it was his encounter with the burgeoning pop culture of the 1960s that would propel him into the limelight. The emergence of pop art in the 1960s provided Lichtenstein with a fresh avenue for his creative expression. He turned to the world of comic books, advertisements, and everyday objects as inspiration for his art. His unique interpretation of these familiar images involved meticulous hand painting that simulated the mechanical printing techniques of comics, including the use of Ben Day dots and primary colors. This replication of mass-produced imagery questioned notions of originality, highlighting the repetitive and superficial nature of popular culture. Among Lichtenstein's most iconic works is Wham! 1963, a diptyke painting that captures the intensity of aerial combat, sourced from a comic book panel. Through this monumental artwork, Lichtenstein transformed a transient moment into a timeless symbol of both heroism and tragedy. The meticulous detail of the plane and the fiery explosion, juxtaposed with the deliberate mechanical style, evokes a complex emotional response from the viewer. Lichtenstein's artistic exploration extended beyond comics to encompass a diverse array of subjects. He reimagined famous works of art by artists such as Picasso and Monet, effectively emerging high art with popular culture. His series Brushstrokes, 1965, which rendered painterly gestures in a stylized manner, demonstrated his ability to blur the line between representation and abstraction. These works showcased Lichtenstein's ability to engage with art history while maintaining his signature style. Beyond his visual art, Lichtenstein's work held a deep contextual significance. By appropriating and recontextualizing mass-produced images, he addressed the commercialization of art and the shallowness of contemporary visual culture. His art questioned the boundaries between high and low art forms, prompting viewers to reconsider their preconceived notions of artistic value. Roy Lichtenstein's influence continues to reverberate in the art world and beyond. His legacy can be seen in the works of subsequent generations of artists who draw inspiration from popular culture, as well as the incorporation of pop art aesthetics into advertising and design. Lichtenstein's art remains a testament to his keen observation of the world around him and his ability to transform the mundane into the extraordinary. Through his innovative approach to arts, he bridged the gap between fine art and popular culture, leaving an indelible mark on the trajectory of contemporary art history. Gertrude Abercrombie, a remarkable American artist, left an indelible mark on the art world with her enigmatic and surreal paintings. Born on February 17, 1909, Abercrombie's unique blend of dreamlike imagery, personal symbolism, and emotional depth established her as a significant figure in mid-20th century art, despite often operating on the fringes of a mainstream art scene. Abercrombie's artistic journey began in Chicago, where she studied at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Her early works already displayed the elements that would become her signature style. Mysterious narratives, 
rich symbolism, and a haunting atmosphere that drew viewers into her surreal world. Her paintings often featured self-portraits, which she used as vessels to explore her inner thoughts and emotions. One of Abercrombie's recurring motifs was the portrayal of herself as a lone figure in enigmatic introspective scenes. These compositions, exemplified by works like Self-Portrait 1945, convey a sense of solitude and mystery while inviting viewers to delve into the artist's psyche. Abercrombie's introspection was paired with a fascination for the magical and the fantastical, often featuring moonlit landscapes, arcane objects, and dreamlike scenarios. Her use of symbolism further enriched her works. Cats, owls, and crescent moons frequently appeared, each carrying its own narrative weight and inviting interpretation. Abercrombie's paintings often became visual poems, with her personal vocabulary resonating in each stroke of the brush. These symbols not only invited viewers to engage with her narratives, but also created a sense of connection between her inner world and the external realm. Despite her prominence within avant-garde circles, Abercrombie never sought widespread fame. She remained a fixture of Chicago's bohemian scene, hosting intimate gatherings at her home that attracted artists, writers, and musicians. These soirees, often filled with jazz music and intellectual conversation, became an extension of her artistic expression, blurring the boundaries between her art and her life. Abercrombie's legacy as an influential artist endures. Her ability to transport viewers into a realm of introspection and enchantment, her personal symbolism, and her unique fusion of the surreal and the personal continue to captivate audiences. Her art serves as a testament to the power of visual expression in exploring the depths of the human experience and inviting viewers to embark on their own journeys of interpretation and discovery. Gertrude Abercrombie's impact in the art world is a testament to her ability to create a unique and timeless language that communicates across time and space. Her contributions to surrealism and her dedication to her personal vision have secured her a place among the vanguard of artists who pushed the boundaries of artistic expression and left a lasting imprint on the creative landscape. Art in 5 Mary Cassatt Mary Cassatt was an American painter and printmaker who is known for her portraits and depictions of everyday life, particularly of women and children. She was born in 1844 in Allegheny City, Pennsylvania, to a well-to-do family and spent much of her early life in Europe studying art in Paris and Rome. Cassatt began her artistic career studying under various masters in Europe, including Jean-Léon Jerome and Thomas Kutcher. She eventually settled in Paris, where she was exposed to the Impressionist movement and its emphasis on capturing the effects of light and color in outdoor settings. Cassatt was especially interested in depicting women and children, and her works often feature intimate scenes of mothers and their children. She used bold, vibrant colors and quick brushstrokes to create a sense of spontaneity and immediacy in her paintings. In 1877, Cassatt was invited to join the Impressionists, becoming one of the few women to be included in their ranks. She exhibited her work alongside other prominent Impressionist painters, such as Edgar Degas, Claude Monet, and Pierre-Auguste Renoir. Cassatt's work was highly regarded by her peers, and she was known for her innovative use of color and composition. She also experimented with printmaking, producing a series of highly sought-after etchings and dry points that depicted the everyday lives of women and children. One of Cassatt's most famous paintings is The Child's Bath, which shows a mother and child in a private moment. The painting captures the intimacy and tenderness of the moment, with the mother carefully washing her child's feet while the child looks up at her with trust and affection. Cassatt continued to paint and exhibit her work throughout her life, and she became a highly respected figure in the art world. She also played an important role in introducing French Impressionist art to American audiences, helping to establish a market for modern art in the United States. Today, Cassatt's work is recognized as a significant contribution to the Impressionist movement, and her paintings and prints are highly valued by collectors and museums around the world. Her unique perspectives on the lives of women and children has influenced countless artists, and her legacy continues to inspire new generations of painters and printmakers. Art in 5 Mary Cassatt <laughs> 